All right, let's turn the page now and give you this. This is a live look at Beach Mountain Ski oh, Resort. Yeah, the so resort jealous. telling us the winter season is, is going great so far. That's what they say. The cold weather last month meant that they were able to make a lot of snow. The resort telling us there's some good coverage out there as we speak in the recent warm temperatures make it even better for new skiers to learn. That would be yeah. me. <laughs> They'll keep making snow once it gets a bit colder next week. Brad, around here, the temperatures don't feel anything like a reminder that we could be getting into a season of snow. Yeah, trust me, by next weekend, they're going to be completely covered. And you know that, that cold snap we had in the middle of this, uh, November, I should say, really helped them get all that snow on the ground. Now, the weather headlines, it is cooler, but not cold enough for snow just yet. We're seeing cloudy skies, drizzly. I'd say temperatures generally in the low 40s overnight. Cloudy, mostly dry for Saturday, still chilly, but the sunshine, yes, the sun actually will return for Monday and Tuesday. Now, tomorrow's a big day here at the station. we got our magical toy drive. we got in-person um, deliveries tomorrow. If you want to come out to Belk at the Carolina Place Mall, we'll be there between 9 and 4. Uh, weather will be great. Last year it was really warm. We actually had some severe weather that night moving through the area. This year, temperatures in the 40s and 50s. Plenty of cloud cover out there, so no worries. The rainfall so far has been down in South Carolina. The Midlands of South Carolina, upstate. We've seen some areas of drizzle, but what I'm watching back here west of Asheville, looks like some clusters of showers trying to develop. It's not heavy. It's like it's been the last couple of days, just that light stuff, but that could move through later this evening. So if you got dinner plans tonight, probably coming out of dinner, maybe going to see a movie or show coming out of there is when you're going to probably see a few sprinkles. Tomorrow morning, again, lots of clouds around with temperatures generally in the 50s, in the low 50s at that. We'll be lucky to get up there. Now Sunday morning, there's the rainfall that'll move in in the first half of the day starts to exit by late in the day. So Sunday's looking pretty soggy, but then there's the front. You see the clearing north wind still chilly, but the sunshine, some of the, the most widespread sunshine we've seen in quite some time. But what I'm watching is this pattern going into next week. If you love snow and cold, you're always looking for that this time of year. And what's happening is we get an active storm track and a lot of cold air building up in the Arctic. What's interesting, this is North America. We see a big ridge up into Alaska, a ridge over Greenland. And what that does, if you think about cold air, kind of like a, a blob up there, when you push warm air up there, it forces it south. And a big chunk of this starts to come south next week. So this is not this Monday, it's the following Monday. So think about next weekend into the following week. And the jet stream shows a lot of storms across the middle of the country as well this week. So a very active pattern. It's not quite wintry yet, but it's certainly a colder pattern going into next weekend. And that system that changes everything is right there. This is Tuesday, maybe severe weather in the middle of the country starts to head towards the Carolinas. On the back side is when we see the cold air start falling in lane. So the mountains, we showed you Beach Mountain. Next weekend, they're gonna get natural snow and cold enough temperatures to make snow and then cold air for everybody across the country. So the cold air start, starts out west, slowly moves across the country. So by next weekend, we're looking at below average temperatures, upper 40s likely, and then going into the week before Christmas, we're starting to see more cool air, maybe not frigid, but temperatures likely below average for this time of year. And we'll keep our eyes on the storm track. Maybe, just maybe, we'll see some wintry weather, but nothing right there to really talk about this far out. This weekend, cloudy skies, 50s both days, but rainfall on your Sunday. Here's your guy roof and seven day forecast first. I'll show you the seven day because you can see temperatures in the 50s through the weekend. Next week, 43 on Wednesday, but the big storm on Thursday, 10 days into the future. Next weekend, we're gonna see highs only in the upper 40s and those morning lows back in the 20s. So our first taste of really cold air.